welcome to my channel nurse rachel and crafts today i wanted to do another video just showing you guys what i've been working on and some finishes that i've had recently i hope that you guys have been doing well i have missed y'all it's been a little minute since i've been here um if you are new here i just started a new job it's probably been about five months now and whew, that job has just been keeping me super busy but yeah I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Now, normally I do two paintings at one time. I like to have a square kit and a round kit going at the same time. This time, y'all, I have three whips going. So I've got like this square confetti heavy kit going on. And I am also working on another square kit that's more color blocking. And then I have a round one going. So... This first one, this is Fuji Flora by Diamond Art Club and Dominic Davison. It is a big one. It's 105 by 70 centimeters or 41.3 by 27.6 inches. It has 66 colors in it. Yes, 66 colors with three ABs. And yeah, it's very, very confetti heavy. Let me see if I can pick this up. So, yeah. Ooh, look at that sparkle. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> but, yes, I am loving it. This is an order kit. I bought this in the summer last year. Summer of 21. I'm just really taking my time with this one. Um, I just work on it sometimes once a week, sometimes once every two weeks. And how I have approached this one is doing small sections. Normally, I will work on big sections at a time. But that was stressing me out, y'all, because I would feel pressure to finish that section. And I would feel kind of unaccomplished if I didn't so now I've just been working on smaller sections and working on the size that I want in the moment so before I never would use washi tape to section off my uh, paintings this is something new that I'm doing this time but it's so convenient because I lay the washi tape down each time that I diamond paint and each time I can choose what size I want to commit to for that moment. It's really convenient that way. I didn't know if I would like using the washi tape way of sectioning off my painting because I do prefer to keep mine covered with the plastic just because I don't like dust and hair to get on my painting. But so far, it's been really good. The washi tape that I've been using, this came from Diamond Art Club, and it sticks really good, y'all. I haven't had to deal with uh, the washi tape peeling up or anything, so that's been that's been really nice. And then I've got this little cutter here that I got off of AliExpress, and that thing is sharp. And I just make sure that when I'm cutting that I don't press down too hard. I just use a light touch just to get through the plastic. You really don't have to press down hard at all. And yeah, I've had no issues whatsoever with cutting through my canvas. But yeah, y'all, it looks like I've got a lot done and I, and I have because again, this painting is very confetti heavy. But y'all, this, this painting is so large. And I just use these clips that I got from Amazon to hold my painting. <laughs> this is the whole painting here. Yeah. I've got quite a ways to go. So yeah. <laughs> quite a bit left to go. But that is okay. I'm not rushing it. I am just enjoying myself and taking my time and I'm really really enjoying it so yeah what would y'all say that is I don't even think that's a third of the way done no 
kind of know. A little under a third of the way done. But yeah, and I finished that little sweet panda. He's so cute. So yeah, very confetti heavy. And if you've never heard the term confetti, confetti just means in a small section, you have a ton of different color changes, a bunch of different colors in a small section. So that's confetti. So yeah, while I love landscapes, they are a time commitment. So I knew that going in. And yeah, I've just been really patient with myself and just enjoying the process. I love it. Now I have my diamonds kitted up in an Elizabeth Ward container. I had to use two for it. Um, I like to put my colors in rainbow order. It just helps me to find what I'm looking for faster. So another different thing that I'm doing with this kit is normally when I kit up my diamonds, I use a fabric sheet to kind of help with the static. Well, I'm also using fabric beads as well. And that has helped somewhat. You can see it more clear in the green there. It has helped somewhat with the static, but these drills are Diamond Art Club's older drills. So if you didn't know Diamond Art Club, they produce their own diamonds. So these older drills, these were made by a different manufacturer and they are so full of static. Even with the fabric beads and the fabric sheets, I've still been having quite a bit of static with these, but it has helped more than the fabric sheets. Um, so for A, B's on this one, there are three. So we've got that beautiful orange color, 133. Look at that. That is so pretty. And so far, I've used that color here in the flowers. I've used it down there. The other AB is 135, a really pretty neon-y green color. Super pretty. And I've used that a little bit up here in the trees and I don't think I've used it. Oh, I've used it here as well. And then the third AB is the white one, 141. Beautiful, beautiful AB. And I have used that one on this beautiful panda. On his uh, head up here, all of that white is uh, white AB. And then we've got some back here as well and over here. My overall enjoyment of this one I'll say out of 10 stars, my enjoyment has been about an 8 so far, 8 out of 10. And again, that's because these are Diamond Art Club's older drills, so um, there's a lot of trash. There's a lot of tabby drills in them. This Elizabeth Ward container, this is the second uh, largest size. So we have this one. It's the big the biggest and then we have that just for a size reference and so this is the trash that I have so far and that's again not even being like a third of the way done with it yet and I've already got that so I'm pretty sure that by the time I finish the whole thing I'll probably have like a big container full if not more so for people who don't use these, I'm going to pour it inside of one of these green trays because I'm pretty sure we've all seen or used one of those before. All right, let me try not to make a mess. All right, so there's the trash there. And yeah, it's a, it's a decent amount. And as you can see, it's a wide array of colors. So yeah, that's Fuji Flora. So far, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. But I'm loving the image. It's beautiful. It's so sparkly. I love it. Okay, on to my next whip. Okay, so since my 
other square is very confetti heavy i did want a square that was more color blocky so this is spongebob square pants by diamond art club it is 51 by 76 centimeters or 20 by 30 inches this one has 58 colors with four ab's and i love it it is color blocking heaven and the colors are so bright and cheerful just like sweet spongebob and anytime i work on this one it just puts me in a good mood it's so cute and i love spongebob this was one of my all-time favorite cartoons and still is my grown self y'all i still watch spongebob at my big age <laughs> but i love it i love spongebob so yeah i'm really enjoying it again i'm doing the washi tape thing here um, i have been multi-placing this one so my drills are definitely wavy like the ocean very wavy but i am not letting myself stress out about it because i've got other things to stress out about <laughs> so i don't want to worry about it i just want to sit in diamond paint and not be so hard on myself about drill placement so yeah there are areas where you know it gets a little gets a little wavy you know can ride a surfboard on some of these areas here but that's okay <laughs> that is okay the washi tape that i'm using that one also came from diamond art club isn't it so cute what does that say have a oh that's all it says is have a <laughs> but yeah it's super cute and again it's not peeling up so love that let's see i'm gonna pull this down a little bit just so you can see all that sparkly amazingness there isn't that so pretty, those colors? So pretty. I'm kind of sad that my pink experience is pretty much over at this point. There's not really much of that down here. But yeah, it's so pretty. Now, when I was kitting this one up, and I'll show you, I kitted it up in a knockoff Elizabeth Ward container from AliExpress. And... I actually prefer these over the original Elizabeth Wards because the original ones are kind of hard to open, but these AliExpress ones, they open so easy. They're still really secure, but they open a lot easier. So while I was kidding this up, I noticed that one of my drills looked a bit off. So this color here, 955, that was the color I needed, and as you can see, it looks like a, like a minty green color. Well, the color that was in the bag for 955, it was marked as 955, but it was this color. And this is one of my favorite colors. I think it's 995, this color. So I knew that this was wrong. And then again, you can see the sticker here. And that does not match at all. So, and that color, this color here, this is all of this back here. So, and even there's, oh, there's some right there. And as you can see, this matches that more than that does. So, I just reached out to Diamond Art Club. I, um took a picture of the bag and of this color and then I went online and I googled DMC color 955 and it showed up as like a sea foamy minty green and so I screenshotted that as well and so I sent all that to Diamond Art Club and I said I think I got the wrong color diamonds I said this is what you sent me but this the C and I showed the C foamy color. I said, but this is what 955 is actually supposed to look like. And it was about maybe five minutes later, and I got a notification on my shop app that they had already sent out five bags of replacements. And that was even before they answered me. So I got my shop 
notification alert first and then they answered me uh like two minutes later and were like sorry about that um we're we're sending you out the right color so super easy and yeah it took about a week for me to get them um so i had just worked on all of that and i had just left this area blank one thing that i love is that every single diamond in this kit is new every single color is brand new so that has been such a pleasure to work with all brand new diamonds so that was another reason why i wanted to have a different kit as well while working on my Fuji Flora one because those are all old diamonds and I just didn't want to get burnt out with all that trash so it's been nice working with these new ones here now I did have another drill issue problem so with these new diamonds there really is hardly any trash however I still ran out of a color y'all yes this one, $8.94. I don't even think I had any trash with this color. Um, maybe two drills were trashy, but yeah, I ran out of this color, unfortunately. So the spot that I ran out is right here. And I needed about seven more drills. So I used some of my older drills, my backup drills that I had, but these aren't the new diamonds and they don't match the dmc color is slightly off so you can see there that it looks off so if i really really care and if it really really bothers me i might try to move some of these diamonds around and then use this orangey color here to kind of gradually fade it out um i might just take those off but yeah y'all seven drills seven drills is what i needed and i didn't want to contact down our club again about seven drills so that was the bad things about this kit um, with the drills now trash has been very minimal this is what i have and i'm about I'm more like halfway down with this one, almost halfway. And this is the trash I have so far. And the reason why there's so much of that sea foamy color, the 955, is because the 955, these are old drills. The replacement drills that Diamond Art Club sent me, I don't think they have their newly produced diamonds yet to send out as replacements. So these are old drills and they're tabby. So that's why most of that color in there is that 955 color. The other thing that I didn't like a lot is here, working on this color, the background. The background and the grid lines are very similar in color. Now pull it up and I'll show you right here. You really can't see the grid lines at all so when placing the diamonds it makes it difficult to lay them down super straight because the background color and the grid line they match a little bit too much it gets a little bit easier here like with the s's but yeah with this color here it was hard to see the grid lines and if you place the diamonds down though one at a time i think you'll be fine me i am practicing my multi-placing so it just makes it um harder for those of us who want to multi-place to place them down straight but it still looks pretty good i'm still happy with my placement but yeah you just have to be a little extra careful there um nothing helps it so Using a light pad doesn't help. Using an overhead light doesn't help either. It's just hard to see. Um, other than that, every other area, it was easy to see where to place the diamonds down. And then I'm almost done with that green color. So I literally only have like a little bit right there. And then I'm done using that color. So um, I won't have to worry too much longer about having a hard time seeing the drill the grid lines so yeah all in all 
I would give this one, my experience so far, I would give it about an 8 out of 10 as well. Okay, so I did want to show you the ABs really quickly. So the first one's 124 Beautiful Pink. So pretty. I worked with that one here in the bubbles. The bubbles have that color. The second one is this one here, 125. It's like a minty green. Super gorgeous. Love it. Love it so much. Um, and the bubbles again. The third one is this green, 135. The same one in Fuji Flora. So pretty. And I don't know if I've worked with that one. No, I haven't worked with that one. But I will down here on his face. And, oh, and in his um, pores. So almost. And then the last one is the Blurple. The Bluey Purple 136. I love this color, AB. That is so pretty. And that is all in the square pants name here. So all of that right there, all of this is that Bluey Purple AB. It's a ton. It is a ton of that one. Love it. All right. I'm going to show you my last whip that I'm working on, and then I'll show you my finishes that I have. All right. So my round kit that I'm working on is a discontinued piece by Mandy Manzano. This is called Giselle by Diamond Art Club. It is one of Mandy's panel princesses. It's 42 by 125 centimeters. Um, now, normally I wouldn't show discontinued pieces. Um, for me, I just always felt like I didn't, I don't know, want to make anybody sad if they wanted it and now it's discontinued and they can't get it. Um, but two things made me change my mind on that. Firstly, this one, it is legally licensed as a cross stitch. You can do a cross stitch conversion on this one. So I'll link that shop in my description box where you can go and buy the cross stitch version of this. And so you can actually make your own. You, you would just have to work on it from a blank canvas. Um, and then, like I said, it's legally licensed. So Mandy will be compensated for that. Um, and then the other reason that made me kind of change my mind about discontinued pieces is because Diamond Art Club has started discontinuing their pieces sometimes immediately. Sometimes they just have one run and then it's immediately discontinued. So they have a ton of discontinued pieces now. So and a lot of things in my collection are now discontinued. And then sometimes they get discontinued before I have a chance to work on them. So I just figure I might as well just go ahead and show them because you may have that in your collection or you may be able to get it from a D stash. So this is Giselle and Mandy Manzano. She is my favorite artist. I just love her art. I love how she does this marbling with her art. I love how she blends her colors in. It is just magnificent to me. I love working on her pieces. Um, working on her art is my favorite because I just feel she has such a wonderful balance of confetti and color blocking. Like here, she has some color blocking here where it's just the one color for a little bit. And then she'll have areas of confetti. Like when she's blending and working her way into a new color, it can get a bit confetti-ish, but not too much. Her art is just that perfect in-between balance. You'll have areas of line blocking. So if you are a person who enjoys multi-placing, it is just so fun to work on her stuff. So yeah, I am just in love with these purples and just how they're fading into the blues and then these more golden yellow colors. 
And I just think she is just so pretty. I'm going to unroll her just so y'all can see how long she is. And then to hold the plastic bag, I've just been using these beautiful rose cover minders from Diamond Art Club. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'm 40% done with her. And again, I'm just taking my time. I'm not rushing on this. I work on her maybe once a week. But because she's rounds, I'm able to get through her pretty quickly. Yeah, it's massive. So yeah, still have all that. I'm so glad though that what I mainly have left to do is the pink. Because that's been my favorite so far. I got a little bit bored with um, all the brown colors in there. It was kind of getting a little bit boring. But yeah, I love all the pinks and purples. And so I'm glad that um, her dress is all that pink. So that'll be fun. So I do want to show you guys how I kitted her up. And she's not in an Elizabeth War container, shockingly. So, this is how I have her kitted up. Now, if you are in the Down Art Club VIP Facebook group, you may have seen this. There is a lady on there. I think her name is Zara. She always uses this to kit her diamonds in. And I got this off of Amazon. And yeah, it's just so cool. It's so cool. The, the, the white tray here, it is just so cool. And then I've got the containers as well from Amazon. And these are square shaped. They're like Tic Tac containers, but like deluxe size. So they fit double the amount of diamonds. So yeah, really liking those. And they fit so good in here. And then with the Diamond Art Club label, it... It fits on there really well also I didn't have to cut any of the sides off or anything um, I didn't mention but this painting it does have 43 colors with only one AB and the AB is the white one the 141 beautiful beautiful AB and that has been used on her skin on her dress we got one on her mouth, a bit here. Um, I think those are flowers in her hair and then just some out here. So not too crazy, not too crazy with the ABs, which is fine with me. Also with this too, I like to put my cover minders in there, you know, cause it's got some extra space. Um, my tweezers I'll put in there. You can fit your washi tape in there too which is nice um these you can put those in there if you want so yeah put that in there the trash look at this y'all minimal minimal trash look at that that's it <laughs> for all of this painting here that I've done so far, almost halfway done, and that's the trash. But again, I've never had a problem with Diamond Art Club's old round drills. I think the quality is amazing on them. With these um, larger Tic Tac containers, if you do get them, some of them are loose and the lid comes out really easy. So when you go to pour your drills out, sometimes this lid will fall off. So I don't like that very much. And it's only with a couple of them where it does that. But what I've been doing is just holding my finger here and then pouring them out like that and then no issue. Also with getting the diamonds back into the container, I would just use, I use this here, one of Diamond Art Club's trays and, and use this kind of like my funnel and then just pour it back in there this is Giselle and again if you want the cross stitch version of her 
I'll have that linked in the description because you can convert it into a diamond painting if you want. So yeah. All right, now I'm going to show you my finishes. My first finish here is Akimi. This is by um, our club and Sylvia Strijic. She's 51 by 71 centimeters or 20 by 28 inches. She has 32 colors with four ABs. And I love her. She is just the right amount of odd and strange and different. And I love that. And then I'm loving all of the greens. And she was a lot of fun to work on. She had a wonderful balance of color blocking and then just a little bit of confetti, which was nice. Um, the confetti was mainly in the flowers here. That's mainly where the confetti was. Other than that, she was either nice areas of color blocking or um, many line blocking areas. I kitted her up in some Harbor Freight containers. And then I used a really pretty washi tape that I got off of Amazon because I just felt like it matched the, the theme here. <laughs> Out of 10, I gave her a, as far as experience of working on her and just overall enjoyment, I gave it a 9 out of 10. And that is because I just got a little bit bored with these colors up here. It was a little bit boring. And then like these, all the, the grays and stuff, it was just a little bit boring um, working on up top. But once I got down to the greens, it was fun. And it was nice. So yeah, nine out of 10. Look at how sparkly that is. I really hope that's capturing. So pretty. I love it. Drill quality was very good. I think the only color that gave me a little bit of a hard time was like one of the grays back here. And I just felt like they were a little concavey. I know that Diamond Art Club had some issues earlier on with their round drill, so they had to pause round drill production while they fixed it and I think that I probably just got one color that was um the bad round drills because yeah it I would just go to place the diamond down on the canvas and it wouldn't stick let's see for ABs we've got this color here 100 and it's like a olive color and I can't remember where all these colors were placed but in the green areas the other one is 102 and this is a black ab so pretty and that was used in her hair and in her eyes the other ab is 106 and it's like a beige color and that was used very heavily in the flowers there so that was nice. And then the last AB was 118, which is a gray. And very heavily used here. Almost all of that is that gray AB. So beautiful. All of that. The trash, I'm not even going to pour it out. Look at that. Barely anything. Out of this whole big old canvas, that. That's excellent. <laughs> but again, I don't have issues. I rarely, rarely ever have issues with Diamond Art Club's brown drills. They just... They're just really, really good. And I believe these are the new drills. They feel very sharp. So Diamond Art Club's newly produced round drills, they're cut more sharp. So these definitely feel more sharp than um, Giselle's drills. So yeah, 
that's it, Kimi. I love her. So, yeah, this was just wonderful to do. Perfect for spring and summer. It was just wonderful. A lot of fun. All right. I will show you my next finish. Okay. So, my next finish is this one here is called Black Girl Magic by Down Art Club and Christina Loray. It's 51 by 66 centimeters or 20 by 26 inches. It has 30 colors with two ABs. And I love it. Look at this beautiful girl. Yeah. She is so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. This was a true pleasure to work on. A color blocking dream. I was just able to sit and just multi-place to my heart's content. I didn't have to think about anything. It was just so easy to do. And I really, really love that. Um, this one here, I'm going to give it, because I am nitpicky, I am going to give it a nine and a half out of 10 as far as enjoyment. And it is because the red areas, which is almost all of the painting, the guy circles were just a bit faint. And so it was a little hard to know where to place the drills at a little bit with multi-placing. If I was placing the drills one at a time, it would have been no problem. But with multi-placing, it just made it a little bit difficult to keep my drills aligned as nice as I wanted to because the guide circles were a bit faint. I got a little bit of lint on her there. What I love, though, about this painting is that the drills match <laughs> the artist's original drawing. So sometimes when working on black girls the drills can be a little bit too orange or too red or even too pink these are not these are totally brown drills i think all of this here is like 301 or 400 and yeah wonderful this is this is a black girl and it's very clear it's very obvious there is no red no orange no pink in those drills and i loved it i absolutely loved it yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. She's stunning. I love it. Um, I kitted her up in an Elizabeth Ward container. No one's surprised there. <laughs> uh, I did not run out of any drills with her. I had a ton left over. So this whole background, look how much of that 38 on what I've got left. An entire full not even close to running out and then with her skin okay i'm thinking her skin was actually this color 355 and look a bunch left over and then even with the black good amount left over the two ab's one is the yellow 130 beautiful and that was used in her earrings and on her bracelet bracelets <laughs> and then the other is 141 the beautiful white so pretty and that was used in her eyes so yeah and then um right in the center there on her chest so pretty So yeah, nine and a half out of 10. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So beautiful. Black girl magic. Okay, I will show you my last finish. Okay, so this is my last finish that I've had recently. 
This is Spirit of the Lake by Roberto Nieto and Diamond Art Club. This piece is discontinued and sold out, so you can't find it on Diamond Art Club's website anymore. However, you may be able to get it from a D stash. This one has 27 colors with four ABs, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, I love that the top is very pastel like in spring i love the sci-fi look of it as well so yeah we got the pastel colors up there and then it goes into these darker colors which i love working with i love working with black and blue i love it oh my gosh and sweet little deer oh i love it this was a lot of fun to work on um I have a video up where I was uh, midway through working with it and just kind of going over my thoughts at that time. And for me, the biggest issue was working with the purple and the blue. And again, it's because the background color and the grid lines, they were just far too similar. So it was almost impossible to tell where to lay the drills at. And because the purple and this blue take up a large amount of this upper half of the painting the top half wasn't as fun to work on as it could have been and that's just because drill placement is important to me and uh, I really couldn't get them laying down as straight as I wanted to with multi-placing and because I don't have a lot of time to diamond paint anymore I did not want to single place I want to be able to multi-place them just so I can feel a sense of accomplishment by getting more of my painting done in a smaller amount of time. So that was taking away from some of my enjoyment because I couldn't place my drills down straight while multi-placing because I couldn't see the glue lines and nothing helped. A light pad, an overhead light, or no light at all, it didn't help because the grid lines, it just was far too similar to the background color. Um, these areas here though, wonderful. It literally was just the purple and this color blue there. Once I got down here, down here, it was crystal clear. The grid lines were very clearly defined and yeah, I had no problems with that whatsoever. Now drill quality for the top part was wonderful. I literally barely had any trash up here. All the diamonds in this kit are brand new. They're Diamond Art Club's newly produced diamonds that they make themselves. So the trash is extremely minimal. So hardly any trash here. The drills were very uniform in size. It was wonderful. Now coming down here at the bottom, more trash in the drills. I'm going to explain what I mean. So Diamond Art Club's older drills, when I would work with the darker colors, sometimes it could be as bad as a one-to-one -one ratio. Sometimes one drill would be good, one drill would be bad with the darker colors. And that's pretty terrible when you have a tray full of drills, when you're literally picking out almost 40 to 50% of the drills. That's bad. So... I love that Diamond Art Club started producing their own diamonds because their old manufacturer was horrible. The first time I worked with Diamond Art Club's newer drills was October of 2021. And those black drills, I would pour out an entire tray of black drills and maybe find three uh, tabby or trashy drills in those, maybe three. It was spectacular. And it's been that way consistently all the way through until I got to this painting. Now, this time with the black drills, I will pour out a tray and maybe find 10 bad drills. So again, way, way, way more better than their old black drills where it was a one-to-one -one ratio. Pouring out an entire tray and maybe finding 10 Max, that's not bad at all. However, I am completely and thoroughly spoiled by Diamond Art Club's good quality. So for me, finding the 10 bad drills in a tray full of drills, I was like, oh my goodness, like this is 
different for Down Hour Club, but it's still leaps and bounds better than other black drills that you'll get from other companies. But I'm just super spoiled now. The blue drills, they weren't bad at all. They were good quality. Down here in the bottom, very confetti heavy. There, <laughs> There's lots of blue shades here. It may just look like one or two. No, it is a ton of different blue shades down here. So if you do like color blocking or confetti, you get both with this one. And then down here, it is just straight up confetti down here. But it was wonderful. So overall, out of 10, I'm going to give this one, as far as enjoyment for me, I'm going to give it a 7. A 7 out of 10. And that is because... I almost didn't want to work on this one anymore because, again, half of the painting is the more pastel colors with that background being so similar. It it really was robbing me of my um, joy of <laughs> working on it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to give it a seven. It definitely redeemed itself down here because I could clearly see where I was laying my drills. And then the confetti didn't bother me. Um... But yeah, maybe half a point taken off again just because I was finding the black drills to be a little bit more trashy than what I've become accustomed to with Dama Art Club's newer black drills. But yeah, look at that. Doesn't it look like glass? Woo! Beautiful. I love it. This one was kitted up again <laughs> in Elizabeth Ward. This one I was just um, using the fabric sheets and fabric sheets work just fine. It's just, it's better now, in my opinion, with the fabric beads. Um, I did not run out of any colors. I didn't even come close to running out of any colors. And let's see, the trash. This is the smallest Elizabeth War container. And as you can see, you can see a lot of black in there <laughs> and then um, dark blue, which is to be expected with these darker colors. You're going to have more trash in those, but yes, a lot of black in there because, yeah. So, yeah, and, and again, as you can see, barely any pastel colors because the pastels were magnificent it really was just the dark blue and the black i will show you the a b's on this one really quick so 127 which is a very soft peachy pink look at that so pretty and that was used in the pink parts of the mountains and then a little bit up there in the clouds 128 like a bubblegum pink, baby pink. Beautiful. And that was again used in the same spots. 135. I think I've had this color AB in three of my kits now today. Beautiful. And that was used in the green parts of the trees. And then the 141, the white. And that was on this beautiful, beautiful deer. And then here. So yeah, Spirit of the Lake. Again, it is sold out and discontinued. But if you really, really love it, I bet you can get this on a D-Stash group. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my finishes and my current webs, and I hope some of the information I provided will help you to decide if these paintings are for you. Everything that I've been using, I will try to link everything that I've used in my description box. I do appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you always for your support. Thank you guys. And yeah, until next time, y'all. Bye.